If you watch this show regularly, you've heard me say repeatedly that Republicans are more interested in cooking up so-called culture wars or bigoted attacks on minorities than actually governing in any meaningful sense. Most will deny it, of course, but then most aren't Donald Trump. While stumping on Saturday in North Carolina, the twice indicted, twice impeached ex-president said this. I will keep men out of women's sports, okay? <laughs> Who would even think that you could allow this? Who would say that this is okay? Uh, these people are sick. They're deranged. On day one, I will immediately sign a new executive order to cut federal funding for any school pushing critical race theory, transgender insanity, and other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content on our children. Depressing and not exactly new. But after the crowd went wild in response, Trump said something that's really, really important and revealing. It's amazing how strongly people feel about that. You see, I'm talking about cutting taxes. People go like that. Talking about, talk about transgender. Everyone goes crazy. Who would have thought five years ago you didn't know what the hell it was? Remarkable. A true statement from Donald Trump. Even the P.T. Barnum of our time can't believe how quickly this concocted culture war over trans rights has captivated the GOP base and how easy it is to now manipulate them with it. He literally spells out the gross power it gives him over those Republican voters because they don't want policies. They want prejudice. He gets their devotion and they get not better government, but permission to express and even celebrate their own bigotry. And on Saturday, he told them to their faces. That's how it works. There is sadly a long history behind Trump's cynical bigotry. He's channeling George Wallace, the notorious anti-civil rights governor and failed presidential candidate. As one biographer tells it, Wallace even told an uncomfortable supporter after a speech why he started openly courting racists. When Wallace turned to the politics of race, one of his supporters who was horrified said, George, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? And Wallace, sadly, he thought, said, you know, I tried to talk about good roads and good schools and all these things that have been part of my career, and nobody listened. And then I began talking about and they stomped the floor. Trump also draws on the cynical calculations of the late Republican political operative Lee Atwater, whose Southern strategy used subtler, coded language to mobilize white voters. As Atwater privately told an interviewer in 1981, in audio later obtained by The Nation... By 1968, you can't say that hurts your backfire, so you say stuff like uh, force busing, states' rights, and all that stuff. And you're getting so abstract now, you're talking about cutting taxes, and all of these things you're talking about are totally economic things, and the byproduct of them is blacks get hurt worse than whites. Today we have critical race theory, parental rights, and of course, grooming. Those last two have been rallying points for anti-trans politics. But now Trump is going further than Atwater by dispensing with much of the coded language. Cutting taxes is too wonky. Loudly demonized transgender people by name is so much more direct. And he's going further than Atwater and Wallace ever did by openly telling his supporters to their faces how he is exploiting their prejudices for personal gain. Atwater and Wallace said this stuff in private. Trump is saying it, the quiet part, out loud, in public, in real time, to his supporters. And he doesn't even believe this stuff or give a damn about trans issues. Or else he wouldn't have blasted North Carolina's Republican restrictions on trans people using public bathrooms on the campaign trail back in 2016. Yeah, really. Remember this? You leave it the way it is. There have been very few complaints the way it is. People go, they use the bathroom that they feel is appropriate. There has been so little trouble. So little trouble. What's changed since then? Trump's base about transgender, everyone goes crazy. Yeah, because it was never about economic anxiety or being left behind or globalization. It was never about policy. It was about being given public permission to hate.